Hey guys, and uh, thank you for joining me for the second part of this commentary slash tutorial slash giveaway thing. Uh, first things first, I really want to apologise for the first video because uh, upon rendering it, I realised that you couldn't actually understand a word that I was saying. Yes, this would be because I was missing a splitter for my microphone. So every time I was searching for it on Camtasia, which is the program I use to record stuff, uh, I chose the wrong microphone and I chose the default one that comes with my laptop. So it was actually recording through there, whereas the whole time I was talking through my microphone, thinking I was talking through my headset, whereas I was actually talking through the shitty default one. Uh, so upon rendering it and uploading it to YouTube and I listened back to it and I was like, great, I can't actually hear myself. Uh, so, you know, first things first, I wanted to apologise for that. I probably got a handful of dislikes while I was recording this. Uh, probably has because I did I did put a mention in the video and said, yo, I'm sorry for that. Uh, that's got to be like the third time I've done that. That and my computer crashing and losing everything that you've recorded, which is fantastic. Um... This is part of two videos that I've uploaded today, uh, an overlay giveaway, if you haven't checked that out, I would check it out because that's a freebie and you know with my inconsistent uploads, getting free stuff is pretty rare. Uh, secondly, we're about four subscribers away from 300, which is a pretty big number. Uh, I didn't think I was ever going to get over 250 to be quite frank, and I swear to God, like, in a space of a month, I will just jump certain subscribers and I'll just jump, like... Not even like one or two, but like ten or like fifteen. It's really weird, and I'd like it for it to go on as long as possible, frankly. Uh, in the last month, including December, because we're only in a couple of days into January, I've jumped 26 subscribers, which is really big, including my view count, which has been going up. Not general views, but overall views. Rather than hear me blab on about my analyti analytics, analytics, yep, I think that's how you say it, I'm going to carry on with the rest of this tutorial. So what you are going to want to see is the long sleeve one. I did the short sleeved one earlier, and today we're going to do the long sleeved one. And here it is. Not that more different from the short sleeved one that we had open earlier. Uh, as a result, I'm going to open up. No, I cannot open the one up I had earlier. So we'll have to just start again. Ah. So, as I showed you in the earlier video, uh, you've got the textures that we don't need to look over again because they're the same. The cuffs and the collars, obviously they were black, so we're going to make these black again. With a favourite of mine, 181818. And the same for the collar. The base, we're going to sort out in a minute. And the same for this one. So, they're sorted out nicely. Now, we're going to want to sort the base out, and we're going to first, we're going to rasterize it and put it to a smart object or unrasterize it. Uh, we're going to choose the color we want. And this was a disgusting shade of green last time I checked. Save the stroke color that I was using in my previous video. And upload this to this. Make that my default. And save it. That is a truly horrible shade of green. <laughs> and do the same for this one. See, the odd thing is, if you take the colour overlay off, you get this bit, but if you don't do it, it doesn't particularly work for all, but yeah, what the hell. Rasterize, convert that to a smart object, and save that as well. Nah, hasn't worked very well, and I don't know, frankly, why it hasn't worked very well. What's happened here? Okay, so I sorted it, uh, went for a quick break, came back, uh, sorted the front with the setting not going black. Um, 
I'm um, first of all I'm gonna get this and find it's frozen jolly oh, cancel that and I'm gonna find the thing that I need which is this piece here and I'm gonna put that in layer 22 I'm gonna grab that Where's it gone? It's gone there. So the first thing I need to do is put the rasterize this layer here. <coughs> Get the black that I need. Make one eight one eight. And extend this to about here. Duplicate that. And as again, transform it to flip horizontal. And put on the second side like so it's a smaller middle but um, obviously it's just a quick demonstration of what it should look like not an actual representation of how you should actually make jerseys and do the same for the first one first things first I need to rasterize that and put it down there like that just gonna pull that down so it's all the way over and save that and so you have that like that So we're just going to focus on the front because it's been a little bit pissy at the moment. That's the best word to describe it as. Uh, actually, no. I have 31. Close that. Yeah, save and there we go and that's what it would look like I'm going to get rid of that texture as you can see you can actually see the texture on it with the uh, pieces and that would be the texture on it uh, you then adjust the background like you would I'm not actually going to put any sponsors on it because it's pretty rank ass design one there and one here like so and basically I just wanted to show you what it would look like with the design obviously you then grab your sponsor so control freak for example oh, oh. <laughs> I don't want to slacken like that I want to close that down to where it wants to go I'm going to be lazy and put it above the layer <coughs> and put that like that I'll just be lazy like that because hell it's late and that's basically the long sleeve template um, I don't have much more to add um, other than thank you for watching um, and you know if you want any more sort of tutorials uh, stuff to do make sure to leave in a comment or hit me up on Twitter because you know I don't have a life and all I do is sit on Twitter uh, basically that's about it uh, thank you guys for watching and I do appreciate uh, you guys tuning in as usual uh, if you have anything else that you would like me to do like I said, just let me know. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Because obviously your feedback is uh, really important to me. And, you know, it means that I am getting through to people and that people do appreciate the help. So that's pretty much it for this time. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.